everyone hello my eighth graders miss Laura here so I created this video for you to still um, work with me even if I am not here live so you will be able to learn solving equation with variables on both sides so I share my screen and hopefully you can follow through and you can pause and move forward if you want to so we have two questions to work with practice one and practice number two so then if you're done already um, I prepared quizzes and Kahoot for you to practice so that you can focus on your work and don't bother your other classmates. So, here you go. So, I'm sharing my screen right now. So, you are now, we are now here at, okay, I prepared your lessons for today. So, <clears throat> loading okay, hopefully it's not take so much time okay. all right awesome all right so there's no way that i can share this nearpod to you it's the video only so what you need to do is just you know copy this and follow through with me all right so as you can see here we're going to solve this um, equation um, it says here eight grade practice um, November 12th so you need to find the uh, value of n for this equation negative 16 plus 3n equals negative 8 minus 5n of course it should be um, the same thing with your um, the same thing with dragging your tiles or al algebraic tiles so I'm sharing now this video so that we can you know navigate showing to you the visual of this um, equation right so we have drag and drop so we have here equation here so we have I'm gonna bring this down here we have equation of negative 16 right okay I'm gonna draw red right. right so negative 16 um, plus 3n okay 3n equals negative 8 minus 5n alright so let me erase this part here okay. so let's now represent all of these using tiles which is I think you need to really visualize how to um, represent each of the terms right so negative 16 are negative 1 for 16 times so 1 2 3 4 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 16 right so 16 negative the tiles shows right then we have 3n that represent positive so we will have to show 1 2 and 3 right then on the other side it's negative 8 so that represent again the square negative or negative or the red square so 8 1 2 3 4, 5, 5, 6, 7, and 8. Okay, the negative 5 is the rectangle red. So I have 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright, so let's now um, solve this. So while I'm doing the visual, I want you to also see the algorithm of it so that you can see when you will um, do the, you know, zero pair and cancellation. So I'm going to write it here. So negative 16. So let me write this. I'm going to use this one for me. I 
moved to that annotation for some reason. It's not showing up here. Alright. Okay, hopefully it will work. Okay. Alright, let's go back to my okay. So I have here um negative sixteen, right? Plus three n equals negative eight minus 5n. So I'm going to use the equal sign. I always want to see the division of left and right. So the first thing you need to do is to identify the least value, the least constant value. So what's that? The 8, negative 8, 16 or negative 8? It's negative 16, right? So therefore, you're going to um, cancel that out by adding 6 by both sides, right? So, uh, so do the zero pair. So you can see here, we're canceling this out. And the meaning of that is we need to drag here 16. So um, this one, I cut, I, you know, drag that. So that means we need to take that out. Okay, that means we need to add. I'm putting on the top because, you know, it means that I will take that out as a zero pair. So give me, let me just pair that together, right? Okay, pair, pair, okay, pair, pair, then pair, 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 pair here, and pair. So what I'm doing is I'm doing a zero pair, right? On the other side, I have to 16 also. So, so I have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. Alright, so let me, let me just. So this one means to need to cancel, right? Okay, let me just, all of this will be canceled out because those are zero pairs. Okay. Right. Oops. Because, you know, that's the meaning of zero pair. Oops. Okay. Oops, hold on. Alright, hold on. Something I need that this one should stay. I, I guess it's a matter of, you know, I should not be just deleting it. But what I'm doing was I'm trying to make this a zero pair. Okay. Okay. So this one. So this one here, the only left at the left side is just the 3n, right? So as you can see on the algorithm here, we have just canceled that out, then 3n is one left. I hope that makes sense. Okay, now here, we drag 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, right? Then those are 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, and 16, right? So those are the 16 on the right side. Now, we need to do zero pair. So let's see. Cancel, zero pair. Cancel, cancel. Cancel, cancel. Cancel, cancel. Delete, delete. Okay, so it should be, oops, I think that should have one here. So how many negative 8 plus 16 is equivalent to positive 8, right? So 8 and what's now here is negative 5 in. Okay. So what we need to do is we have 8 here. So 1, 2, 3, 
four, five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So I think I, I deleted accidentally the other one. So it should be eight. Alright, so that's now two, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So that's the eight positive. And I have the five end. Now what's the next step? We need to isolate the the variables on only on the other side, not could be on the both sides, right? So for me, I would rather always do it on the left side um, so that you have always the right direction that variable always on the left side. So therefore, we need to get rid of the 5n, right? So how are we gonna get, how are we gonna do that? We need to add positive 5n on both sides, okay? So therefore, I need to add here 5. Okay, so I have to add here 5. 1, right? 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Okay, and also on the other side, I need to add 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5. Alright, so now we can, um, based on this, we can do 0 pair. Negative 5n plus 5n is just 0. Then, therefore, that means this one will need to be... Okay, let me make, let's do it one at a time. Delete. Okay, so I need to delete all of this because this, this will be zero pair, right? Okay, so therefore here, we have now what left here is 8n is equivalent to 8, right? So therefore, the question is how many, if you will distribute the n here, how many constant it will get? So one, that one n will be one as what n one n is equivalent to one so therefore after that you will divide both sides by eight right so the answer here is n equals to one okay i hope you know you i i try my best to make it slower so that you can follow through right so i'll make it here so therefore, each of the n will have a value of 1. So that's what it means. So 1, 1, 1, 1. Oops. It's, you know, it's a matter of really doing it a nice and neat visualization, but that's how it works. So, so it means 1n is equivalent to positive 1, and that's what we get. Now, there's um, have that you need to check your work, and let's solve that, okay? So, all of this should be, you know, equivalent to n. Um, unfortunately, because of the space, it's not going to, you know, squeeze in, but 1n equals to 1. All right, let's do the checking. So, because of the checking, is just too small. So, here, n is equal. Okay, make it bigger. <laughs> So, n here is equals to 1. So, let's now do the checking. So, how you're going to check is that the variable has a value, right? So, you just need to substitute that. For example, negative 16, okay, plus 3n equals negative 8. Negative 8 minus 5n. So, the value of n is positive 1. So you just need to substitute that. So negative 16 plus um, 3n, which is 1, 3 and 1 is equivalent to negative 8 minus 5 equals 1 times 1. So I just need to evaluate that. Negative 16 plus 3 times 1 is 3. It's equivalent to, you have negative 8. Negative 5 times 1 is negative 5. Okay, then look up here. Negative 16 
plus 3 is negative 13 and negative 8 minus 5 is negative 13. Since the value on both sides are equal, it means our, the value of the variable is correct. Alright? So I hope this is makes sense. Um, you can like pause and you review your work again, this video again, so that you will understand this perfectly. So, no rush. It takes some time to review and learn this kind of concept. Alright, so next, let's move on to our next slide. So, let me, you can pause this one and copy the work. It's up to you. And you can, I'll move to the next slide, alright? Okay, next we have practice number two. Alright, so we have now the value of B, okay? Solve for the value of B. So we need to um, look for this, um, okay, hold on. So we're going to write down the equation. So negative 12. Okay, negative 12 minus 4b equals 4 minus 2b. Alright? So, how does that represent? We all know negative 12 is red. 12, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So, the space is not good enough, but try to squeeze in. Negative 4B is also red. So, 1, 2, 3, and 4. Alright, so we go on the other side. So, 4 is positive, right? So, that's the yellow. So, 1, 2, 3 and 4. Negative 2b is again red. So you have 1, 2. Alright, the first step is you need to identify the least constant value. Is that negative 12 or 4? You're right, negative 12, right? So that's the first thing we need to cancel. So let me rewrite that. Negative 12 minus 4b is equals to 4 minus 2b. So let me draw the line. So negative 12 is least or lesser than 4. So we need to get rid of that by adding 12, both sides. So we have plus 4, 12, plus 12. Alright, so let's now add 12 here. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Alright, so you go on the other side, 12 also. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. Alright, so both sides we did the adding of the um, positive 12, so you cancel this, so that means zero pair, so we're gonna cancel this, let me cancel that, cancel, 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 so as if they're disappearing each one of them, right, so that's the goal here. Cancel, 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 
Now what represent for that? So this now become negative four big, right? And that's now here is um twelve uh, four plus twelve is equals to sixteen, right? Minus two b. Okay, what's the next step we need to do? We need to isolate the variable by what? Doing zero pair on the other side to move everything on the left side. Okay. So what do we need to do? We need to get rid of this by adding by adding um, positive b, right? So I need to drag this one, 1, 1, and 2. Okay, then the other side also, 1, and 2. Okay, so it means I need to add here 2b here. Then other also plus 2b. So we need to cancel this. And the meaning of that is I need to can remove this one. Take this out. Right? Oops. Oops. Take this out. Take this out. Okay, where are you? There we go. Cancel this out. Alright, so it means here, I also need to get rid of B, cancel, B, cancel, cancel, and cancel. Okay, so therefore, there are negative 2B left, right? So I have here negative 2B is equals to 16, right? So, the question is, how many B will have, uh, how many each B will have? So, the question here become negative, right? So, as you can see here, and it's really, we need to divide both by negative 2, right? And negative 2. So, now it become negative divided by negative is positive. So, what will happen here is that zero pair um, you're going to flip the B into what? A positive. So, this become a positive now. So, I'm just going to... Okay, because you divide both by positive. So, now, so, negative B divided by negative... Negative 2 B divided by negative 2 is positive B. Because, you know, a negative divided by negative is positive. Then, 16 divided by 2 is negative 8. Therefore, this all... This all um, red become what? It become negative numbers. Because you cannot have a negative um, negative um, B or variable as your answer. You need to always divide it by a negative to make it positive. Okay? So therefore, each of the X will have a value of what? Of negative 8. That's cool, right? So, 1 has a value of negative 8. Okay? So, that... So, you want to make a zero pair here, by the way, because you're dividing it... Um, you're dividing the constant by the coefficient, which is negative. So, you're making the variable positive, but the constant will turn to a negative, if that makes sense. So, therefore, 1B will be equivalent to negative 8. So, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. Okay? Does that make sense? Then, the other one will have another value of 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. So, the other X or the other variable will have a value of negative 8 also, okay? So, the goal is your variable should always be positive. When you change that to positive, then the other equal value will become negative. 
I hope that makes sense. So, our answer is B is equals to negative 8. So, let's write that down. B is equals to negative 8. Alright. So, Ms. Dolores, your answer is correct. Let's check. Right? So, let me move my face. So, let's have here to check. Negative 12. I hope I have more space. But I'll try to squeeze in. <laughs> so, negative 12 minus 4b is equivalent to 4 minus 2b, right? So, you just need to plug in. So, negative 12 minus 4 times negative 8 uh, equals 4 and, uh, times uh, negative 2 times negative 8. Alright, so negative 12, negative 4 times 8 is positive 32, right? Then negative 4, negative 2 times 8 is positive 16, alright? So let's do the math. Negative 12, negative 12 plus 32 is how many? So you have here negative 12 plus 32 is equivalent to 20. Oh, okay. And I think my mistake, this is positive 4, so it's not negative here. Okay. So positive 4, right? Positive 4 plus 16 is also 20. So therefore, our answer is equivalent here when we evaluated it or used the sub substitution um, strategy. So it means if that is equal, both sides, therefore our value B is correct. So hopefully you enjoyed and I didn't, you know, talk too much. And if I did, you can pause and, you know, go back and review this video. So hopefully... You learned something from me today. Um, I created this video for the intention that you can work by yourself and learn from me. Alright? Thank you. I'll see you on Monday. Bye. If you're done with this please, and you still have time, please do the quizzes and the hoot that I added um, at the bottom of this video. Alright. Thank you so much, 8th graders. You're all smart and I'm so proud of you all. So have a good one. Have a great weekend too. Bye.